Research is important because if we're going to improve the way we take care of people and make it better in 10, 20 years from now than it is today, we need to do research. That's the only way to get there. I love the fact that I can provide for my patients today whatever is available, but my eyes always on making it better because we haven't cured Parkinson's. And if you can honestly tell people that you're, you and I are part of this movement to get us to a better place, it, it, you just, people smile. It automatically makes it better. I feel very strongly that we're never going to find a cure if Parkinson's patients don't step up to the plate. You know, if we don't participate in clinical trials, then we're not going to get to that, to that cure that, that we want to get to. And so I make sure that, in, at least in my community and where I, wherever I go, that I explain to people how much they're needed, um, how valuable it is, and, and what's happening in clinical trials right now. So I started educating myself about the disease and um, quickly realized well, there's no cure. And that's when I decided that, you know, research was the key in, in the case of Parkinson's. Once we bring the patient in, we start with the patient, then if there's a wife or a husband, they're like, oh, I'll participate. Forget about him, I'll be, I'll be in the study. So it sort of brings the whole family in. I knew our anniversary was coming up and I didn't have anything for our anniversary. <laughs> I needed to come up with something. And I was like, well, boy, you know, I guess if I, if I did that study, that would make her happy. We went out to dinner and he handed me this envelope and I didn't know what was in it. And I opened it up and there was the trial papers and I just cried. It meant so much to me that he would do that because it's, it's a big deal. It made me really happy. And I've the best never been able to get an anniversary present as good. <laughs> I put myself in a bad situation. When we got the diagnosis, I was angry because I couldn't fix it. I couldn't make it right for him. Until I, I started thinking about, well, research. You know, I can't make it go away, but maybe through research I can help. It certainly gives me a feeling that I am at least doing something to fight this disease. This gives me a sense of a little bit of control. I've come to learn about the difficulty in general that uh, clinical trials have in recruiting people to participate. I'm amazed that people don't just jump up and go, oh yeah, I can do that, That's, there's nothing to that. I have this one patient who tells me it's very selfish, research is very selfish, because I want to make it better for me. But then there's the altruistic part where you're helping everybody with Parkinson's disease. So it's very rewarding once you're in it because you feel like you're active and you're doing something and you're making it better. It's I, something that I can do uh, to be able to help, and not just Karen, but to help anybody with Parkinson's. And I'm not a scientist, I can't study things, but I can contribute this way. Everybody's definition of a cure might be different, but. I think that if we, if, if, if Parkinson's patients around the globe were told today that they had something that would stop their disease where it was right now, that's a cure. I don't need to go backwards, but it would be nice to know that it wasn't going to progress. And uh, I think that if everybody plays that, that role in putting those pieces of that big puzzle together, we'll, we'll get there.